This is Terry Collins from It's All About Sports, and we're here at Paulsburg High School. We're here for the semifinal Group 1 matchup between the Salem Rams and the Paulsburg High School Red Raiders. And this game is a matchup that features a rematch from last year's Group 1 championship game where at Rowan University, Salem High School was defeated by Paulsburg in a big matchup where uh, Dayron Holloway of Paulsburg led his team to a championship. He's now back here this year at Paulsburg as a senior, and this will be his final home playoff game here at Paulsburg High School. And on the other side of things, Salem High School is led by its superstar also, Zaire Jones. Jones again had a great game last year, Rowan, in defeat against Paulsburg. And again, it looks to be a good matchup between these two running backs and these two teams. And we'll be back with more action here from this Group 1 semifinal at Paulsburg High School between the Salem Rams and the Paulsburg Red Raiders. And as we're waiting here at Paulsburg High School, the Salem High School Rams have just taken the field. And again, this is a semifinal matchup here in Group 1. Now, the other matchup puts the Pensgrove Red Devils against the Gateway Gators. Gateway coming off their first victory in the high school's playoff history. So they're riding high on a lot of emotions. They're going to face a very strong and talented Pensgrove High School team who has been one of the top scoring teams in South Jersey. And they're led by their star, uh, their star player, Tyreek Brown. Again, Brown is one of the Once leading scorers in South Jersey. He's actually only a junior. And again, Gateway has been a team that's been under the radar all year. Uh, kind of comes into this game as an underdog. They only have one defeat where they actually lost to the Paulsburg Red Raiders in a very close game early this year. Now, again, Zaire Tom, uh, Jones in this game, uh, Salem, he's now the leading star on this team last year who was also blessed with the talent of Jonathan Taylor, but Wait, now everything's on Jones. Salem's going to ride his wave all the way to the possibility of reaching it back to Salem again. And again, no stranger to Paulsburg High School is their star run running back, Dayron Holloway, who has been the leader for this team for the last three years. And again, this year he had an opportunity to break Isaac Redman's touchdown record. He didn't quite reach it, but he will leave his mark here in Paulsburg history uh, with his last game here today. So look for a lot of touches by Holloway. And again, Paulsburg also led by its coach, Glenn Howard, who is one of the most historical coaches here in South Jersey. So Paulsburg just now getting to the field. And we're going to be uh, coming back here with more action next and as we look forward to this kickoff here. Quarterback for the Rams, number one, Jamel Bundy. Number three, Zaire Jones, brought down by number 86, Santino Marina. Second and seven for Salem.
Seven left in the first quarter. Six. Back deep for the Red Raiders. Number one, Davon Holloway. Number 33, Spaceshaw. Anthony Marina on the return. down by a host of Salem Rams. It'll be first. A quarterback for the Red Raiders, number four, Colin McCarthy. Deron Holloway. Gain of four. Second and six. Deron Holloway once again. Number 19, Missouri Dublin. On the tackle. Dean of about four, third, and two. Lost in about six, so we bring up fourth and eight for the Red Raiders. And there's a penalty flag on Pawsburg as Pawsburg now has his second possession of the game, driving inside the five-yard line run by Holloway. Pawsburg looks to tie this game up as Salem leads now 6 nothing here in the first quarter.
Paulsborough now. Paulsborough now lines up. Ball on inside the five yard line, about the two yard line. Here with a first and goal actually on the one. With 8 11 here in the first quarter. And that looks to be an offside on Salem here. And after the pennant, it'll be again. Has a run to Holloway, and he'll be in the end zone for a touchdown. So Paulsboro ties the score 6 6. Paulsboro now line up for the PAT here, looking to take a one point lead here in the first quarter of play. And the PAT is good. So Paulsburg leads Salem here in the first quarter with 806, 7 to 6. Okay, we have first and 10 for Salem. Ball on their own 20 yard line. Salem now with first and 15 from the 26. It looks to be a gain of none. So just under seven minutes here. And on that play, actually, a loss of three for Salem. So they have second and 18 here. And that was deflection, but catch by Salem. Looked to almost be an interception. As Bundy ends up catching it off the deflection. And he's going to pick up a first down here for Salem. They'll have a first and 10 here from the 42 yard line. There's a run to the outside by Jones. Salem picks up eight on that first down play. So second and two here on the Red Raider 49 yard line. Gain of three, first and ten. And Salem's gonna pick up a first down on that play on a run by Jones. There's a flag on the play. That's going to be a far start. Far start on Salem. Correction. 
First and 15 here for Salem. Ball placed on the 47. There's going to be a handoff. That run by Ramir Nock. As he picks up six yards here, and Salem will have a second and nine here from looks like the 46 yard line. And completion, but looks like to be a flag on the play. Looks like it's going to be on Salem. It's actually a holding call. So Salem's starting to hurt itself with penalties here. They're struggling to get a rhythm going here. That ball was actually tipped twice, and but lands in the hands of a Salem player. That's going to be a big pickup, not a first down. up 16 yards on that. It looks like to be a third and three. And right after the completion, Salem picks up a penalty. So again, they kill themselves with penalties here so far in this first quarter. an illegal substitution. The five-yard penalty brings up third and eight. There's a run off the left side by Jones. And he's going to be short. Fosbury's defense looks to have held here as it'll bring up a fourth and five. Here with just under 340 left here in the first quarter. Salem lines up in punt formation. Salem's going to pause, bro. I'm sorry. He's going to take over possession here with a first and 10 ball on the 26. Daron Holloway in the backfield. And there's a handoff to Holloway up the middle. He's not going to get much, if any. And Holloway's going to lose one on first down, bring up a second 11 here for pause, bro. There's a pass wide open up the right sideline, and he's going to be out of bounds. Pitch and catch to Marina. He gets a big game here for Paulsburg as they're into Salem territory. Now to bring up a first and 10 from the Salem 37 here with 2.38 left in the first quarter.
Looks to be an injured Salem player here in the field. So 2.21 left here in the first quarter. Paulsborough leads Salem 7-6 and Paulsborough on the move. We'll be back with more action. And the Salem player looks to be okay. So first and 10, Paulsborough here with 2.13 left here in the first quarter. Pass play, pass play caught by Marina. He fumbles the ball. And looks like Paulsburg recovers. There's going to be a timeout here on the field for a measurement. So another action here in the group one playoffs here. Pensgrove in the first half leads Gateway eight to nothing. And again, Gateway looking to pick up its second playoff victory in school history as Pensgrove looks to head back to Rowan for its third time. Salem last week defeated Woodbury in its playoff game, and Penns Paulsburg defeated Pennsville in its playoff game. That's how these two are here today meeting up. And again, Paulsburg as always is one of the favorites to win this Group One championship here. That third and one run, Paulsburg looks to have got the first down. Another time out here for a measurement. And looks like that's going to be a first down for the Red Raiders. First and 10 for Fallsville at the Salem 27 yard line. So Paulsburg with a first and 10 here from the 27 yard line. There's a handoff and loss of yards here in the backfield. Holloway's gonna be stopped in the backfield for a loss of two here. As we're just approaching the minute mark here in the first quarter. There's an incompleted pass. Incomplete. Third and 12. And then I'll bring up a third and 12 here for Paulsburg.
And there's a pass across the middle, and that's going to be too far and incomplete. And that's going to bring up a fourth and 12 as Paulsburg. We'll see if they'll either go for it. Actually, they look like they are going to go for it here. And he looks like he's going to be brought down. And that's going to be a stop for Salem. As Paulsburg turns the ball over down on downs in Salem territory. And Salem will take over. So Salem will take over with 22 seconds here in the first quarter. Ball on the 32. First and 10, the Rams. That's going to be a first down for Salem. And it's going to be a first and 10 for Salem. That ball is going to be run by Jones out of bounds. And he's going to pick up a first down. So first and 10 Salem with five seconds left here. Ball on the Paulsburg 31-yard line. There's a horse collar. He's thrown out of bounds. And that's the end of the quarter. We'll be back with more action from Pawsborough High School. Pawsborough leads Salem 7-6. And first, Salem has a first and 10 here. And there's going to be a touchdown run by Zaire Jones. Last play of the first quarter, actually, because of a defensive penalty. Quarter can't end on a defensive penalty. So Salem takes advantage of the 15-yard horse collar. And they go into the end zone for the second time in the day where they take a 12-7 lead over Paul's run.
point conversion is good. At the end of the first quarter, it is Salem. And Salem picks up the two-point conversion, and they take a 14-7 lead here at the beginning of the second quarter. And we'll be back with more action next. Salem now lines up the kickoff after Salem was able to fend off a few penalties on that drive. And they're going to pick up a touchdown and a two-point conversion. They take us. Lead 14-7 here as the second quarter is just beginning now. And there's a kickoff fielded by Paulsburg. And Paulsburg and I have first down. And I hand off to Holloway. He's going to be tackled in the backfield. Be a loss of five for Paulsburg. And second and 15 here. And that's an incomplete pass. It's going to bring up a third and 15. There's a pass that's over the head of the receiver, and that's going to be incomplete. And that's going to bring up a fourth and 15, and Parsberg's going to have to pass, punt. That's a bad punt. That's going to be short. It's Prosper Downs, and Salem's going to have good field position. First down, and that looks like a penalty. It's going to be a first down Salem. And it's going to be a handoff to Jones. On 
Okay, Mr. Bateman, Douglas Blue, Eli on the tackle. Loss of about two, second and 12. It's going to be a loss of two, second and 12 here. And there's quarterback back, and there's a completion. And that's going to be a first down, but there are flags on the play. And that penalty is going to be on Salem, so that'll come back. So instead of a first down pickup, it's going to be a second and 17 here for Salem. It looks to be the same exact play, and that's going to be a catch. And, and the ball was taken by Holloway. So catch by Salem and run. And Holloway comes up with a big play defensively. Normally we see him making plays offensively, but... That's the type of play that can be a game breaker. That's the type of play that can be have the ability to change the momentum in a game easy because Pawsburg looked to possibly be going down 21-7, and that takeaway by Holloway totally changes things around. As a catch on first down. Connects with Santino Marina. First and ten for the Red Raiders at their own 29 yard line. Correction, 34 yard line. First and ten for the Red Raiders at their own 34 yard line. Can we? It's first and ten. Osborne now has a second and 10 here with 9.16 in the second quarter. Dublin, 
on the set. Loss of about nine, four, and 19. And that brings up a fourth and 19 here for Paulsburg. And 8.23 here in the second quarter. Salem takes over possession, leading Paulsburg 14-7 here in the second quarter. We'll be back with more action next. We're back here, 8.23. Salem takes over on first down. Good play made on Jones. Salem lines up with trips to the right side of the field. His quarterback flushed out of the pocket as an incomplete pass. So it's going to be third and 11 here from the 42-yard line for Salem. And he had a man wide open. Pass sails out of bounds. And that's going to be a fourth and 11 as Salem's going to be forced to punt. That punt sails out of bounds here with 7.28 left in the second quarter where Paulsboro take over, and they hold down to Salem 14-7 here in the Group 1 semifinal playoff action. And we're back here with 7.28 left here in the second quarter. Paulsboro takes over possession here from the 35-yard line. Loss of a yard on the play by Holloway brings up a second and 11 from the 34. And there's a slant and catch. And that's going to be a first down for Paulsburg. And there's another incompletion. First down. That's a sweep outside to Holloway, and he's going to be tackled down. And there's no gain on the play, and that's going to bring up a third and 11.
That's going to be a penalty on the play. And that's going to be on Pawsburn. That's going to bring up third and 16 with six minutes left in the second quarter. So far this game, both teams playing good defense, but seems to be Salem's playing the better of the two. They're coming up with some big plays, sacks in the backfield, and uh, some losses here. There's a punt on fourth down, fourth and 25. And Salem's going to take over possession with 4.53 here left in the fourth quarter. We'll be back from this group one semifinal action with Salem leads Fallsburg 14-7. And we're back here with 4.53 left here in the second quarter. Salem takes over with a first and 10 from the 45. And Paulsburg has done a pretty good job containing Zaire Jones. Again, the junior running back who is this team leader, who had a, also a good sophomore, last year, sophomore year last year alongside Jonathan Taylor, who's now having a stellar freshman season at the University of Wisconsin. There's another hand off to Jones with a flag on the play. And that looks like it's going to be on. And that penalty is going to be on Salem. And again, Salem has continued to kill themselves offensively with penalties. It's going to be a second and 21, just under four minutes here in the second quarter. And that pass is incomplete. And that'll bring up a third and 21 from the 47 yard line here for Salem. And there's a catch and fumble recovered by Paulsburg. So there's a turnover that Paulsburg needed. And they're going to pick up the ball on the 44-yard line with 325, an opportunity 
to go into halftime tying this thing. And that pass tipped at the line and caught by a lineman, I believe. So we've seen Paulsburg do a lot of passing in this game, which isn't really typical, especially with a back like Holloway in the backfield. But we have seen Salem shut down the run for the most part here. We'll see if Paulsburg can somehow continue to work on establishing his run game. But a lot of times it's hard when they're in long situations such as this, second and 14 here from the 48. And there's a completion and a big hit on the Salem sideline by the Salem defender. But he holds on, and that's going to be a third and 10, looks like. A gain of four. Salem Paulsburg quarterback scrambles and he gets it off to Holloway and Holloway's still running and he's going to be somewhere close to a first down somehow Paulsburg's collar somehow Paulsburg's quarterback was able to get up out of that he looked like he was surrounded and, and sacked in the backfield but he somehow gets it to Holloway and Holloway scampers and picks up a first down it was a big play by Paulsburg to continue this drive with 139 left here in the first court, first half. And that's an incompletion. There's second and 10 here. And that pass completed. Pickup of about eight. It's going to be a third and two. And that's another completion. Short game, but enough to pick up the first down. So first and ten, Paulsburg. And there's going to be a timeout here with 54 seconds left in the second quarter. Paulsburg driving, looking to tie the game here. 14-7 right now. We'll be back with more first half action next. We're back here with second quarter action here where Paulsburg has a first and 10 for the 21. 54 seconds left here in the second quarter looking to tie the game. And he gets the ball to Holloway. And Holloway's going to pick up a first down. It's going to be a first and goal from the 10 yard line for Pawsburg. That's going to be a false start on the Red Raiders. And 
And they're going to have a first and goal from the 15-yard line here. And there's an incompletion. Brings up a second and 15 with 21 seconds left here in the second quarter. That pass to Holloway, swing pass incomplete off his hands. He looked to be well covered with two defenders in the area. Going to bring up a third and 15. Big play here for these two teams. And that's going to be a false start on Pawsburg. And that's going to be a five-yard penalty and bring up a third and 20 from the 20-yard line. 13.6 seconds left here in the second quarter. As an incomplete pass, ball defended by Zaire Jones, tipped away. This will bring up a fourth and 20 here with seven seconds left. And that pass in the end zone is incomplete. That pass incomplete. And that'll be the end of this first half where Paulsburg High School, or actually Salem High School, leads Paulsburg High School 14-7 here in the Group 1 semifinal playoff matchup. And we'll be back with second half action coming up next. Okay, we're back here for the second half. Paulsburg will receive the ball, trailing 14-7.
McCarthy connects with Nick Worstall. Gain of seven, second, and three. And McCarthy sacked number six, Namir Watts. Loss of ten, third, and thirteen. First and ten for the Red Raiders at the Salem 19-yard line. Carthy connects with Billy Shaw to go for six yards, second and four. Touchdown, Red Raiders! Colin McCarthy to Billy Shaw to. Flag on the play goes against the Red Raiders. <clears throat> Red Raiders will attempt the extra point. Looking for the extra point is up and good. Nine minutes, 30 seconds left in the third quarter. Selm, 14. Paulco, 14. Please pull out your 50. Third quarter. That's going to be a touchback. Kickoff goes through the end zone. It'll be first and 10. For the Rams at their own. Selm will start on their own 20-yard line with a first and 10. Pause, but just re tied the game up 14 all. Good for four yards, second 
and six. And a gain of four on first down, second and six for Salem from the 24. There's a pass. And big gain on that play for Salem. And that's gonna be a first and 10 from the 49 yard line for Salem. That's a big hit on Paul's bus. That pass looks to be completed. That's going to bring up a fourth and short here. And it looked like they're going to bring out the chains here. Actually, that was the first down. It's first and 10 here, Salem. There's a sack on the play for Paulsburg. Big play defensively, and that's going to bring up a third and long. So now we see the Paulsburg crowd, which has been relatively quiet today, is getting into this. It's going to bring up about a third and 15 here with 5.50 left here in the third quarter. And that's going to be a big pickup on for a first down by Salem on a pass play across the middle. Second and 
That's going to be a first down for Salem. And that's a big play for Salem. Even if they don't end up scoring here, that changes the field position. Salem's looking to take a lead here in this third quarter. Second and nine here. And he looks like he's gonna be close to another first down. He has the first down here. So it's gonna be first and goal from the nine yard line here for Salem. possession here in this type of game becomes more and more precious. There's a first down run for Jones. He picks up a couple. Looks like he picks up maybe one. going to be a good play defensively by Pawsburg. Looks like flags on the play. So after a good defensive play, that's going to be a face mask on Pawsburg. Gonna be a five yard penalty, bring up a second and goal on the six. Jones on a carry and he's going to be short of the goal line. He's going to bring up a third and goal from the two yard line. That's going to be a touchdown by Zaire Jones from the two-yard line. Salem takes a 20 to 14 lead here, and they'll line up for most likely a two-point conversion. As the inside handoff is going to be no good. So with 2.31 here in the third quarter, Salem now leads Paulsburg 20 to 14 in his group one semifinal action. We'll be back with more action here in the third quarter next. And Salem now lined up for the kickoff here.
And ball recovered by Tootin. Returns it 21 yards at the first and 10 for the Red Raiders. At their own 44-yard line. Pause right here with st good start in field position, down six points with 2.23 left here in the third quarter. And that's going to be a penalty, a late hit out of bounds. That'll tack on 15 yards. There was a late hit on Holloway on the pause sideline. Looks like there's an injury by Salem players, so we're going to take a break here and be back with more action here with 2.15. Salem leading pause by 20 to 14. And we're back here. Third quarter action. Pause with a first and 10. And there's a big run by Holloway. As we see, Pawsbury is going back to the ground here. They kind of got away from that in the first half. And Salem was playing very well defensively with bottling up De'Ron Holloway, who hasn't got much going in that first half. And now we see Pawsbury is going back to the running game and a big pickup by Holloway. And looks to be another Salem player injured down on the ground. So we're going to take a break in action here with 2.05 left in the third quarter from Paulsboro High School. We'll be back next. And we're back here. 2.06 left here in the third quarter. Paulsboro looking to tie this game up. And there's a whistle blown. Going to be a first and 15 here for Paulsburg. And they're going back to the pass, and that's going to be incomplete. Tom McCarthy intended to number six, Jamal Miles Benjamin. Incomplete. Second down. It's going to bring up second down. It's going to be a pass play raw to the right. And there's a big play defensively by Salem if they ever needed one. A sack in the backfield. That's going to be a big loss. That's going to bring up a third and 30. Timeout here by Salem with 107 left here in the third quarter. Pause right with the ball, but Salem leading 2014. We'll be back with more action in the third quarter. And 
And, and we're back here with third quarter action. Third and 30 with a minute and seven left here. Pause with the ball. He's back to pass. He's going to get it to Holloway. Holloway's going to be pushed and forced out of bounds. That's a 13 yard pickup, so it's going to be fourth and 16 here. Fallsburg is going to go for it. And there's an incomplete pass. That's going to be a turnover on downs. Salem's going to take over. Salem going to take over on the 17-yard line here. So good drive by Paulsbury. He looked to go back to the running game here. And just when we thought that the Paulsbury coaching staff had found his way back to Holloway on the ground, they go back to passing, and Salem picks up a couple big plays defensively, gets Paulsbury in a second and a third and long. And now we see a turnover on downs. So Salem will have the ball as we're approaching the end of this third quarter, which has been a good game here. Again, this is a rematch of last year's championship game at Rowan, where Paul's by defeat of Salem. And that's a big run. And the ball was taken again by Holloway. So this is the second time today we see where Salem comes up with a big play, and right at the end of the ball play, Holloway's able to take the ball away. So Holloway has single-handedly made two big plays defensively that have kept Paulsburg in this game. And that right there is a product of hard off-season workout, being in the weight room, building your strength. One of the smallest players on the field, but yet most likely one of the strongest. And there's a first down pass play. Again, we see Salem making big plays defensively. And there's a sack, and that looks like they're going to run the clock out here in the third quarter. So just under 10 seconds. And the three. Salem leads Paws behind his group one semifinal 20 to 14. We'll be back with Paws High School with fourth quarter action next. Beginning of this fourth quarter, third and 17 here for Paws And that's going to be an incomplete complete pass. Fourth and 17 here. Paulsburg is going to punt the ball here as Thomas is going to be back deep. Or Jones, I'm sorry, Zaire Jones. And that's going to be down. 
So Salem will take over. Again, we've seen a couple drives today where Salem was looking like they were going to go in for a touchdown. And two times Holloway was able to snatch the ball away from the offensive player. And those right now are two big saving plays that Salem could easily be up, possibly by three touchdowns at this point. <clears throat> now Paws was going to need a stop defensively here. going to be a false start on Salem. Legal procedure. Loss of five here. Bring up a first and 15 on the 26. That's a good play defensively by Pawsburg. As As a penalty, stop and play. It looks like it's going to be on Salem. That's another penalty on Salem. Salem is backing themselves up into their own end zone, which is usually a bad situation for the offense, where a lot of times we see when the ball's down here and the offense's back is on the wall, Big opportunity for mistakes to be made that can be very costly, especially at this point in time in the game. We have Salem with a six-point lead, and Paulsburg struggling, struggling to get a lot going offensively, although Paulsburg did score at the beginning of this first half. And that pass incomplete. And that play run out of bounds and it's gonna be bring up a fourth down. Salem's gonna to have to punt the ball away. And there's a punt block by Pawsburg, and he's gonna go in for a touchdown. A punt block and touchdown by Pawsburg. And again, like I said earlier, a few minutes ago, when teams are backed up into the end zone like this, there's a big opportunity for mistakes to be made. And there we see it, Salem makes a mistake, whether it be blown block coverage, but someone came through, got the block, and the return for a touchdown, Pawsburg ties the game up. And that's a big play for special teams because, again, Paulsborough offensively has been struggling here to get much going.
And that extra point block makes it 20-20, 10-13 left in the fourth quarter. Salem receiving the ball, and we'll be back with more action here in the fourth quarter next. And we're back here at 10-13, where Salem set up to receive the kickoff. And Jones is going to pick up the kickoff, and he's going to be tackled inside the 15, about the 11, 12-yard line here. And there's flags on the play. That's going to be a flag on Salem. So, again, Salem has itself pinned with his back to the end zone. And as I mentioned last time, this is always a situation that has a tendency to end up bad for teams. And Salem's going to start from the six-yard line here. And as we see, Paulsburg building momentum defensively. It's going to be a second and 13 here. And there's an incompletion off the hands of the receiver. So we've seen the momentum kind of switch here in this third quarter where Salem again had a, a big opportunity to be in Pawsburg territory with a one touchdown lead and a takeaway by Holloway has changed that around now. And Salem barely escaped a safety. And there's an incomplete pass, and that'll bring up fourth and 13 here in the fourth quarter with 9.25 left. So it's 4 and 13. It's going to be a, another punt situation from the end zone. So the pause bar is going to start their possession here on the 40 yard line, first and 10 here, with 9 16 left here in the fourth quarter. I'm curious to see if Hosmer is again going to go back to its ground game here. And again, we've seen time and time again, just like last year in the Group 1 Championship, where they put the ball in the hands of Holloway and he was able to come up and make some big plays. We'll see if Hosmer is going to do the same here. And that's a first down run by Holloway. That's a pickup of nine. That'll bring up a second and one for Paulsburg. So 
Holloway loses three on that play. It's going to be a third and four. That run by Tootin. It's going to bring up a fourth down. It's going to be a fourth and three. So pause, but it looks like they're going to go for it here. Fourth and three from the Salem 33-yard line. And that's going to be good enough for a first down. So first down for Pawsborough on the 29-yard line, 719 left here in the fourth. And there's another run to Holloway, and not much there. And there's a pass that looked to have been intercepted, but it barely went over the hands of the defender. And Paul's receiver actually had a chance to make a play, and it goes off his hands. That would have been a huge play for Paul's right there. So that incompletion makes it third and 10 from the 29 yard line. Third and ten here from Paulsburg. There's an incompletion and a flag on the play. And there's a hold on the defense. That's going to bring a first down for the Red Raiders. So Paul's brother's going to have a first and 10 from the Salem 19 with 631 here in the fourth quarter. And that's a touchdown by Holloway. And that's going to be a penalty on Salem.
and Holloway broke several tackles on his way to that touchdown. Big play by Holloway there for Fosborough. He had to break at least five, six tackles on that play. That's going to be a penalty on the Salem, Salem sideline. So pause where it looks like they're going to go for two-point conversion here. We have yet another penalty. And this is going to be big right here of Salem or Paulsburg can force a two touchdown lead. And that's going to be a stop, but a flag on Salem. And that's going to be a penalty on Salem. So that's going to give Paulsburg another opportunity at this. That's going to be a face mask penalty on Salem. So we're seeing a little bit of frustration here, I believe, on the Salem players.
And that two-point conversion is good, and that makes it 28 to 20. Paulsburg with 6.19 left here in the fourth quarter. And we'll be back with more action here in this semifinal group one playoff action from Paulsburg High School next. And we're back here as Paulsburg set the kick off. And now this is Salem picks up the kickoff. And that's a big hit on the kickoff. As Jones, I believe that was, was hit pretty hard there on the kickoff. And 6-12 left here in the fourth quarter. Salem's going to ha most likely have to score here on this possession. It's got to be a sense of urgency now. And there's flags on the play. And again, we've seen Salem hurt themselves all day with penalties. First and 20 here for Salem on the 29, 29 yard line. Salem quarterback is going to escape and he's now going to run. And there's a flag on the play. So second and four because of the penalty looks like a push in the back. That's a high snap. And close to a first down, no gain on the play. Looks like it's gonna bring up a third and four here for Salem, 426 left in the fourth. Thank you. 
And that's a gain of five. First down for Salem. As the clock continues to run. So again, Salem's going to have to put up a touchdown here on this drive. a loss of three for Jones. He's going to have an injury timeout as Jones is on the ground right now. So 3.18 left here in the fourth quarter. Pause early in Salem. 28-0. We're going to come back with more action here from the South Jersey Group 1 semifinal here at Pawsbury High School. Here. And that pass incomplete on second and 12. It's going to bring up a third and 12 from the 38-yard line. 3.06 left here. And third and 12 here for Salem. They're going to need a first down here. And as a catch, looks like on the Salem sideline, that pass complete. That was a big play offensively by Salem as the receiver went up over top of the defenders was able to hold on to the ball. It's going to bring up a second and seven here from the pause by 39, 36. That's going to be a first down for Salem. So Salem's going to have a first and 10 with 2.09 left here in the fourth quarter. Ball on the 27-yard line. As a pass play, looks to be completed. So just short, but there's going to be a timeout on the field by Salem. So we're going to take a quick break in action here with 127 left. Salem driving, but down 28 to 20 to pause, bro. Now Salem with a third and one here. And they're going to pick up the first down. First and goal. 
Salem now with a first and goal. We're back here at a second and five here for Paulsburg uh, at Paulsburg High School. Salem with the ball. And we're now under a minute as we look. So Jones short. Third and goal from the two. So we're going to have a fourth and goal at the one-yard line with 27 seconds left here. Stop. I'm waiting to see the officials call. And Salem's going to be short of the goal line. They turn the ball over on downs. It's going to be first down, Paulsburg. 17 seconds left here. What a big goal line stand for Paulsburg High School. They're going to go back to the championship again at Rowan University, and they will be playing Pensgrove High School. So two weeks, two weeks December 2nd, 2.30 p.m., Paulsburg High School versus Pensgrove High School in a big South Jersey Group 1 matchup. So there you have it, Paulsburg High School 28, Salem High School 20, great game here today, again it was the defending matchup, defending matchup from last year's group one championship game. Salem coaches, get your kids off the field now. Salem coaches, get your kids off the field now. 
coaches, get your kids off the field now. This is Terry Collins with It's All About Sports, and we're here with today's MVP of the game here. They Ryan, first of all, how's it feel to be going back to the championship again? Man, it feel good, man. I can't be stopped this year, man. I got one goal to do, and that's to get back to Rowan and win it all. And we seen earlier, it seemed like Paulsworth kind of went away from uh, running the ball to you at first and started passing a lot. Were you still focused at that point, waiting for your moment again? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You know, I preach, man. I just preach about just being patient, you know. Uh, and I mean, I'm not the only guy on the team. Uh, we got to play together and just uh, just execute. And then we came out here and did that today. We executed. We've seen where you made the big play on offense with the uh, touchdown breaking tackles. But tell me how one of the smallest players on the field comes up with two big plays defensively where you potentially actually saved two touchdowns here today on defense. Is that a product of weight room, offseason, what? Hey, man, everything, man. Big-time players make big-time plays in big-time moments, you know? Uh, I'm just happy with the win today. We got to get back to the drawing board for West Defford this week. All right, and moving forward, I know, like you said, you do have West Defford. I know it's going to be hard to overlook them, but what are you looking forward to most about going back to Rowan? Hey, man, just bringing the title back home to where it belongs, you know? Uh, just working hard. Just, we're going to get to that point. And Rome, we'll see Penns grow with our December 2nd. Well, there you have it from Pawsburg. Number one, De'Ron Holloway made big plays defensively, big touchdown offensively. And I'm Terry Collin from It's All About Sports, and we'll be back with more action here next. What's up? Thank you, man. Appreciate it. This is Terry Collins with It's All About Sports, and we're here with Pawsburg High School head coach Glenn Howard. First of all, Coach, uh, we all know you're no stranger to going to the Group 1 Championship. How's this one uh, feel here today? All of them feel very special. You know, I was uh, just reflecting a little bit uh, this week. The further along I get in my career, you know, I probably don't have too many more years left. Uh, probably going to look at retiring sometime soon. You know, I'm not going to be like Joe Paterna and coaching to my 80s. But, uh, you know, the more, the more I get, Along in years, each each time you have the opportunity to get to this point and get to Rowan, uh, it feels really special. You know, uh, you appreciate it a little more than you did when you were younger. You said, oh, well, we always got next year. We always got next year. But uh, as I reflected this week, you know, each each time is, is really special. That's that's my feeling. And now we, uh, we, we know historically you guys are – Big on running the ball we've seen today where your quarterback got a little more involved and you guys went to more of a passing attack. Was there something that you've seen that you felt you could do passing the ball against Salem? No, hey, Salem was a, a tremendous opponent. They got a fantastic ball club with a lot of great athletes. They're well coached, and uh, they did a great job of shutting down our run. So we, ha we were forced to throw the ball. I mean, we tried – you know different runs and uh they just did a great job of out outnumbering us in the box and uh you know we were forced to throw the ball and try to make some plays in the passing game so that's what we tried to do talk to us about how special i'm sorry how special holloway was uh defensively coming up with two big plays where potentially we seen salem had opportunity to score two touchdowns where he single-handedly was able to take the ball away himself well, he's been a, a force for us for, uh, you know, the last four years. And, you know, he just he never ceases to amaze me what he does on the field offensively and on special teams or uh, today as a defensive player. I mean, he came up with some huge plays. Uh, those strips were, were really, really big. I mean, uh, I don't know what we would have done without those. So, uh, you know, he continues to make big plays for us. And uh, we're very blessed, to, you know, that he can do that. Now we know um, Pensgrove did uh, defeat Gateway. Um, have you had the opportunity at all to see any bit of uh, Pensgrove uh, uh, at all this year? And what are your expectations coming into that championship against those guys? No, I haven't seen uh, Pensgrove play this year. I don't know much about them. I know uh, traditionally they uh, always have a lot of good athletes. Uh, I expect them to be real, really well coached. I know uh, – the coach down there, so I know there'll be a well-coached uh, team with a lot of good athletes, and uh, it'll be a very tough ball game. 
Well, there you have it from Paulsburg High School. Coach Glenn Howard headed back yet to another Group 1 championship with the Paulsburg Raiders facing the Pensgrove High School Red Devils. And this is Terry Collins again with All About Sports, and we'll be back with more next from Rowan Championships.